Shalom, shalom, I'm just a Kapaya, a.k.a. Pops out. Shalom, shalom, I'm just a Kapaya, a.k.a. Pops out of gym in Chicago with a sit down. I don't know how long I'm going to let this run, but so you can understand this. This is an uh, this is an announcement. The reason I'm jumping all over this one with the intensity that I'm getting ready to is because of the fact that Russia has developed a nuclear missile that works on nuclear power. Okay, so basically, they've got a, a a missile now that can basically run on nuclear power. So it's got an unlimited range. Okay, it's got an unlimited range on it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this play some. And I'm gonna let these scriptures jump in my head, and I'm gonna put these on. Here we go. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kakwadash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, uh, the elder bishops out of Connecticut, um, and that I want to send double honors because they do rule well. For the brethren around the world pushing these prophecies, uh, good, bad, and ugly, declaring war on the planet, salutations. Hopefully, like I hope this is edifying. Here we go. At the American University. Now, Professor Kuznyak, thank you very much indeed, sir, for joining us here and beyond. You know, every time Vladimir Putin has spoken about, you know, the possibility of nuclear weapons, he said that no nation would dare use a nuclear weapon because it's, it's, it's common sense. It's mutually assured destruction. But every time the Russian president talks about nuclear weapons, why is it a matter of concern? Because... Even though no nation, no rational, no sane person would launch a nuclear attack, these things can happen either out of desperation or by accident or miscalculation. The longer this war goes on, from the very beginning, Biden said that the U.S. goal is to defeat Russia militarily, or have Ukraine defeat Russia militarily. But he has also said that if Russia were in a position where it was being defeated. And that, 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 that footage that you see right there is when, like I said, this is a live feed, okay? But that that right there was when they was describing that this missile is actually nuclear powered. They did a test on it. It's a nuclear powered missile. It's got an unlimited range on it, okay? It has an unlimited range. It uses nuclear power with a nuclear with nuclear warheads on it as well to be able to have an indefinite, uh, indefinite launch window of strategically being able to hit anything anywhere on the planet. Period. Okay. To be using these nuclear weapons, uh, but we all know from all the tests that have been occurred, all the war games that have been done. Once a nuclear exchange happens, it's very difficult to stop it. Absolutely. So the prospect of a limited... Okay, so we know that that's going to be um, um, second address. I believe. Let me grab that real quick. That's going to be second address. we get back to it. Uh, let me see. My mistake. I don't want to go there like that. I want to go this way. Second address. Let me see. Fifteen. Let's see. Um. Uh, sedition among men, obviously, in these things, a man should have no pity. That's verse 19. Uh,
the storms that I've been talking about as of late and how they've been around the world twisting things. Let me see. Um. Okay, so basically, you know, you can pick spots out of Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. Okay, I'm just showing you some of the some of the stuff that's going on. That's that's coming out of Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. Uh, man will have no pity. You know, you're not going to be able to put missiles back into. Uh, who's going to be able to stop uh, 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 an arrow uh, when it's fired? By a mighty, by a mighty man, and, uh, or, or, or what, and, and these types of things. So let me just get back to it and let it go. resume nuclear testing for the first time in more than three decades. Putin, who has repeatedly reminded the world of Russia's yeah, nuclear God. might Putin since Lord. the invasion of Ukraine, Putin said no one in their right mind would use nuclear weapons against Russia and added that if such an attack was detected, a number of Russians... And if you saw it, it, it flashed up there. Putin lords nuclear-powered missile. So he's got missiles now that can hit anywhere on the planet. So many hundreds of our missiles will appear in the air that not a single enemy will have a chance of survival in several directions at once. During his speech, Putin also suggested that the plane crash that killed the Wagner mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin in August was caused by hand grenades detonating inside the aircraft and not by a missile attack. The director of the investigation committee reported recently that hand grenade fragments were found in bodies of those killed in the air accident. There was no external impact on the blade. That's the stated fact. The Russian president further went on to call Canada's former parliament speaker an idiot after the legislature celebrated a Ukrainian World War II veteran who had fought alongside the Nazis. Former Parliament Speaker's remarks came when the sense. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky visited Canada last month. But if he does not know that during World War II, it was Hitler and his minions who fought against Russians, then he's an idiot. That means he did not study in school, has no elementary knowledge. But if he knows that this person fought on Hitler's side and calls him a hero of Ukraine and a hero of Canada, he's a It's one way or another. Referring to the aid that Ukraine has been receiving from its allies in the war against Russia, the president bashed Ukraine, saying it would last nearly a week if foreign aid stopped. If one just and you see, this is how uh, this is how the rest of the world is going to wind up getting pulled into this. You know, with you got you got you know, uh, Elder Malcolm just put some up about Israel uh, and, and Palestine going at it again, and now you got this thing where basically, when you look at Ukraine, Ukraine is actually part of the old Russia. Okay, it's one of these. It's one of these things where this, where, where Russia back in the '80s and whatnot kind of broke down some some portions, and Russia didn't break it down, you know, uh, 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 financially. You know, Russia Russia fell off financially a little some, and and in the process, basically they fell off because they was regrouping, they was pulling back. You know, you had Gorbachev and all them. And Reagan talking about tear the wall down and all this other kind of shit. And you had some some fascists that had a chance to break off certain portions of Russia. Okay, well, Putin and built all that stuff back up and he's got the military strength now and oil technology and things of this nature and bricks and the whole deal all, all kind of put into a nice little neat package right now. And so that's what he's on. 
Okay, he's reclaiming all his land masses and this, that, and other, because, you know, you got these uh, uh, NATO allies that's trying to want to set up things and regions that's like right in his back door. It's like the Cuban Missile Crisis back in the 60s and whatnot when, uh, when uh, they wanted to set missiles there and America was up in arms and this, that, and the other, okay, because of that. So now he's trying to square that away and not let you be able to put nuclear weapons in his back at his back door and whatnot, you know, through Ukraine and all this other kind of stuff. So this is what we got going. And in a, nut, in a nutshell, like I said, you know, he's got nuclear power weapons now that runs on nuclear power. So he got a power source inside of his weaponry itself. That, that has an unlimited range on it. That's crazy as fuck. But this is what they got. They, they playing with this man. And see, that, that's going to make this scripture jump out. That makes this scripture jump out. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me go get this. Like I said, I'm not going to not gonna stretch this out. Uh, This is Ezekiel 38. Son of man, uh, this is Ezekiel 38 and 1. Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach, and Zubar, prophesy against them. Hold on. So, 